Well, we are back for the final two matches in today's episode. We've got a lot to cover and uh, some personal information I want to share with you guys. So let's roll the intro and get right to it. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back, Football Manager 21, and this is episode four of our Journeyman Save. We have just recently changed clubs, moving to uh, Grenoble Foot 38 in uh, Ligue 1 in France, and we are trying desperately to qualify for European places this coming season. Uh, which is what the board expects. Speaking of the board, we are in the verge of a, uh, where there's talks of a possible takeover. There are two groups, one consortium and a, uh, two individuals trying to buy the club. Uh, the board, of course, with the pending takeover, possibly have uh, put a freeze on all transfers, uh, which, you know, we're not in the transfer window, so it doesn't affect me right now. But uh, the group of two individuals has said they're not going to retain me in all likelihood. So this may be a short-lived venture if they are the ones that buy the club. Um, let's go ahead and start with the highlights of the, uh, the Ronce match. I actually looked up the pronunciation. I thought it was rhymes or rims, but it's Ronce. So, uh, hey, I think I got that one right. Let's come right back for those highlights, and then we'll kind of cover some more broad spectrum stuff. We came out in a 4-4-2. They were in a 4-2-3-1. They are above us in the table. We are not going to catch them, but this is a game we have got to pull points from. And a flick down header goes to Okolo. He splits our two center backs and beats Rune into the net. It was 1-0 early. Okolo back on the attack, lays it off to the edge of the box, and Goita, with a blistering shot, makes it Ronce 2, Grenoble 0 in the 34th minute. St. Clair. Fran goes in for the tackle. St. Clair beats him, lays it off to Guidi, and uh, Guidi scores, making it 3-0. Our first real highlight that you'll see, Quinonez lays it off to Marty. Abdullah Guzel gets his shot deflected, gets the rebound, squares it into Benitez, and that's the first goal of the game for us. In the 78th minute, Rune does not come off his line to beat challenge for that ball. St. Clair gets the header and puts it over Rune into the net to make the final 4-1. to one. Look at the stats in this game. 32 shots to 16. We doubled them there. Equal shots on target. We doubled their XG. And yet 3.2 XG, we only scored one, one and a half XG, and they score four. That was a brutal game. Uh, so if we take a look at since we left off, which I believe was Red Star and Wren last episode. Uh, so we had a 2-2 draw with Montpellier, a 2-1 win over Monaco, a 4-2 win over Metz, and then the 4-1 defeat to Reims. And that is not helping us at all. Let's take a look at the competition. So we are still on the outside looking in, in eighth position. We are three points behind Montpellier. We do have the goal advantage. Uh, who do they finish with? They finish off, oh, they finish off with PSG. Hmm. Now, PSG have already won the league. They've already qualified for Champions League. They don't have a lot to play for. But if they win, which they should... And we win. I mean, if PSG wins and we win, then we would catch Montpellier. And with us winning, we should keep our goal differential. That should give us Europe. Now, there's also a chance uh, PSG and Lille, or was it Lille and I think it was PSG and Lille, they qualified for Champions League coming through the French Cup. So they're not going to take the, uh, the Euro Cup place because of Champions League qualifying. So that drops. Now, I don't know if that drops to 7th or 8th. 
I guess we could look, but I won't, it won't make any sense to me anyway. So they go into seventh. So it's possible that that will go down. So maybe we can, we might be able to backdoor in because of the uh, top clubs already qualifying for Champions League. A couple of other things before we get into the match. If you don't want to hear all the personal stuff, just skip ahead to the match. Uh, but I want to look at the youth development. Uh, so if we go to our B squad, we only signed one player. Uh, that would be uh, Kevin Marlette, 16 year old center back, uh, two and a half star potential. It was a really, really poor class. He's six feet tall. He's pretty close already, you know, to having tens in the primary uh, D, uh, technical categories. Uh, decent jumping reach. I think he's got some room to develop, but I don't think he'll ever make the squad. Uh, all the other players that were with the club have uh, now left. Uh, their trial periods are up at the end of the season, and nobody else. I mean, two and a half star was our best player. Also, when you see this video, so I'm recording this on, I don't even know what the date is today. I'm recording this on the 18th. Now, you're not going to see this until the 20, 26th, I believe. So you guys know I record about a week ahead. So I'm running actually late with this episode. I didn't get it recorded last week. Uh, but anyway, um, you may have already seen this in my previous video, but next week, uh, at the time you see this, next week I'm going on vacation. Uh, I have not taken a, I've taken staycations every year with my job, but my wife and I with kids and work and everything else, uh, we have, uh, we have not had a vacation, just the two of us since our honeymoon 30 years ago, cause we just celebrated our 30th anniversary. So it's been a long time that we haven't, that we've done a vacation, just the two of us. So I had a nice, uh, you know, we had a nice, uh, multi-leg trip for about a week and a half, uh, you know, taking into account the 4th of July holidays and weekends and the vacation days that I had to get about a week and a half off. Uh, I, you know, we were going to Dallas for a few days. I had a nice bed and breakfast rented uh, for, you know, a romantic getaway. And unfortunately, uh, as of t recording today, yesterday morning, uh, my wife's mother went to go, she fell a couple of weeks ago and didn't, you know, she went to the doctor. They said everything looked okay. She went to get out of bed yesterday and her ankle literally crushed uh, and collapsed under. She broke her ankle pretty badly. Uh, they're taking, they took her to the emergency room yesterday, the neighbors, and uh, she's going to have to go in today to get a cast. And then uh, she cannot, because of her age, she can't be alone for seven to eight weeks so unfortunately, out of the four sisters, they all live in different states, and only one of them lives in the same state that my mother-in-law does. So they spent all day yesterday on the phone working out logistics and who can cover when. So one of the sisters is in currently. Uh, she got in, uh, I think, day before yesterday. So, yeah, just the youth intake was really horrible. Um, Marlett was our best player, so we let everybody else go. We have really got our work cut out for us here. I am really nervous about getting sacked if we don't qualify for Europe, even though I was only here, you know, the very end of the season. And we have not performed poorly at all. All right, we're going to go with Rune in goal. Fran, Gallus, Godoy, and Quinonia is on the back line. Godoy getting a rare start. Garcia and Pekaranen in the mid. Nagano and Abdullah Guzel on the wings. Marty and Martin up top. I am so ready for the offseason to see if I can put my stamp on this club, if we're still here. All right, let's get into it. We are closing out the season at home. Uh, looks like they are still social distancing in the stands here. <laughs> Either that or they just don't give a crap. One of the two. All right, let's give them the old encouragement. All right, let's see. Pause. Montpellier is playing PSG. That's right. We did talk about that. I had to take a phone call for work between uh, early, a little while ago, so I kind of forgot what I was talking about. If I look like I spaced out, that's why. 
All right, we've got three shots on target. Let's go with the encouragement again. All right, Pekka ran in. Back post! Oh, it was an open header for Abdullah Guzel, and it goes over the bar. That was an empty net attempt. There was no reason he should have missed that. Oh, that's brutal. Come on, boys. Oh, there's a shot from range. I just don't feel confident in Rune. Uh, we have had uh, some some uh, rumors coming out in the media that uh, a club in the Arita Vici are uh, possibly interested in Rune. Uh, he evidently won the Arita VC with a prior club. So, uh, and, and I believe he is Dutch. So that was a boring half. We dominated it, but uh, yeah, we need a little bit better there. Let's pump the fist. We deserve to win this match. Let's uh, demand more from the get-go. And Quinonez is dead. And remember, we don't really have anybody else back there. Uh, where is, oh, is he hurt? All right, I got to pause it because now he's showing an injury, a potential thigh injury. All right, we're going to have to bring on Kondraki, 27 years old, Polish. He can play both sides, so he can play on the right, and he's left-footed, so, and he is inverted, so we'll go ahead and make that move. All right, it's Nagano coming up the left flank. He's got Martin. He cuts inside. Oh, that was a poor finish. It was a great move. Probably should have done better there. All right, Pekaranen. Near post. And another header goes just off the target. Let's encourage him again. Let's try to be positive. All right, Godoy. Into Garcia. Fran, whoa, that was optimistic from the left back. And that sets us up with a corner. And PSG has just gone up in the 61st minute on Montpellier. But we have got to have a victory. We have got to have a victory. Abdullah Guzel to the touchline, squared in, and it's into the net. Nicholas Martin, his 19th of the season. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, here's where I just, I, I never know whether to really, I'm just going to slow the pace down. I don't like doing actual time wasting. So what that does, to, in my opinion, what that does is that's where your goalkeeper starts falling on the ball. You know, he makes the save and then he'll fall on it. Um, you know, they'll take a little longer before they take their corners, their goal kicks you know they'll just you know throw ins they'll just try to delay just a little bit all right that's intercepted by fran thought we might have a counter opportunity there there's nagano in space they are really packing the box here laid off to garcia and he slots it home the sixth of the season for Gabriel Garcia. And that puts us up 2-0. And that is a huge goal for us. PSG is still up one. Oh no, I think they equalized. I think they just equalized. If they get a point, we can't catch them. I mean, we're doing our part. Martin. Good touch, and he slots it home. 20th of the season for him. He's got to be one of the happier players with my arrival. And we are up 3-0, but I am looking for uh, a 66-minute goal by Pellegrini has equalized in the Montpellier PSG match. And that means we are still on the outside looking in by one point. All right, let's, uh, Garcia's got one goal, but I can pull him off. Do I want to do that? Nagano. All right, let's do that. And then Garcia will pull off for Benitez. Come on. Come on, PSG. 
I can't believe PSG is going to let us down here. Well, we did our job. 25 shots to three, 13 to one on target, a three to one victory. I am going to outstretched arms, happy with the result. <clears throat> now let's see what the fallout is. They drew. Son of a gun. PSG, you guys suck. Nantes gets relegated. Quinonia is out for a little while. Martin with a great game. I don't think we made it, guys. I don't think we made it. I know it said it was going to go down to the, to the league, but... Oh, uh, no. Montpellier gets it. Yep. So we do not make it. Ouch. Well, I mean, you know, we did everything we could, right? I mean, we... That's a pretty good run. I mean, we had, a, you know, four losses, but one of those was in Euro Cup. But the fact we're not going to be in Europe next year is going to hurt. And I may get canned for that. 11.81. Disappointed that we only achieved a top half. I am interested now to see how this pans out. So let me move ahead a little bit. We'll come back with anything interesting. Uh, no, nope, we're not, because there's the end of season review. That's where we'll leave off. So we'll come back next episode. We'll do our end of season review. We'll take a look at transfers, assuming I'm still here. Uh, hopefully we'll have some news uh, in short order on the club takeover possibly happening or not happening. So we'll see you guys next episode for that. Please hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not done so. And uh, that just lets me know you like what I'm doing and want to see more. And I thank you for hanging out with me today. Have a good one. Bye.